Hi, this is Dr. Donald Pelto. I want to talk to you this week about the Haglund's deformity. Uh, and here you can see uh, a picture of a Haglund's deformity. It's actually a bump on the back of the heel. It tends to be quite painful, um, both right on the back and, and slightly up on the side. Uh, as you can see, it, it's caused sometimes uh, by uh, a painful si uh, little sack of fluid back here called a calcaneal bursa. And this is exactly right where the Achilles tendon, as you can see, the Achilles tendon inserts in. Very painful for, for ladies, especially with uh, shoes that rub in the back there. They actually call it a pump bump, uh, because you can, if you wear a pump, it rubs back there, and it's very, very painful. How do we treat this? Well, let's, let's go on to the treatment section. We can kind of look at this. Uh, for the treatment, we initially get an x-ray to see if there's a big bump in the back. And, and usually the pain, it's not in the typical bottom here. It's actually right on the back of the heel. And that's where the, the typical pain is uh, for these types of patients. And for the treatments, we treat it like most heel pain. Uh, we try icing or biofreeze initially, some type of anti-inflammatory like naproxen or anti-inflammatory you know, uh, cream, uh, anti-inflammatory cream. And then new shoes. Basically, for this type of a condition, you have to use a shoe with an open back. That tends to be the most uh, comfortable. Uh, a shoe with a back on it uh, just is, is more uncomfortable because it has all the pressure back there. Uh, next, what we do is we try to loosen up the tight muscles in the back using trigger point tools. These can be used to reduce any of the knots or the pain back there. This is very commonly associated with a condition called uh, Achilles tendonitis. So if you have a, a tight Achilles tendon, it's very similar to a Haglund's deformity. So you really have to rule out both of them and in terms of treating it. I, I saw a patient recently that had um, uh, the Achilles tendon coming down, pain with the insertion. But if I felt the Achilles, it had kind of this bulbous feeling to it. And that actually was a partial tear in the Achilles tendon. So you don't want to treat uh, just the Achilles tendon. You need to treat uh, the bump in the back. If all this conservative therapy doesn't work, such as the trigger point tools, you can try uh, physical therapy for this. I recommend a Graston technique. It's actually where you rub right at the back of the calf region, and it reduces the pull on the Achilles tendon. You can also try a heel lift uh, from the back of your shoe. I don't recommend an injection here. Maybe if you're going to inject, you'll inject the, the bursal sac around the area, but you really want to stay away from the Achilles tendon because that can cause problems and has been known to cause tendon rupture. Uh, some of these lifts, like I said before, here's an adjustable heel lift that you can try, a custom orthotic that you can try, uh, making sure that your orthotic has a deep heel cup. That's the most important thing about your custom orthotic. Some other things that can help, uh, this is something called an air heel. Uh, this can uh, be used to take the pressure off the back of the heel, especially if it rubs in the shoes. A night splint can help if there's a tight Achilles tendon uh, as well. So that's kind of how I treat it. Uh, certain people do need a, a dyna splint to help with the Achilles tendonitis. Uh, if that doesn't work, we'll try a, an offloading boot, crutches, and then we'll discuss surgery. The surgery that I usually recommend is called a um, Haglund's Repair uh, utilizing this uh, speed, speed bridge. Okay, so let me show you this. This is called a uh, Achilles suture bridge. So uh, let me kind of walk you through this here and show you how this works. So what happens with this surgery for this is you actually take and you make an incision right in the back of the Achilles tendon, and then you do a T incision, one on both sides. And what that does, that allows you to, to open up the back of the heel and uh, remove that bump that's been that's bothersome there. You, you, if there's a little spur back here, you do that too. You as well do two drill holes and you uh, actually use a, uh, you do two little, little anchors that go in here. Here's one anchor and then uh, the other anchor goes right here. What this does, this is called a tenodesis. This, this is a little a string or a suture that comes out and it actually stays in the bone. What we used to do in the past is we actually tied a knot, but this is actually a knotless system. So after you put this little little tap in, then you do this anchor, uh, that holds it in, and then these, these, um, these sutures, what you do is you actually place them through the Achilles tendon. So you've got your bump removed, making sure that you get enough on the outside area, and then you go up through the, the Achilles tendon on each side with the, uh, the suture anchor, okay, up on both sides through the suture anchor, and then you come down with the other side right here, and the same thing. So now what you do is you slightly underneath where you did the T, you drive two more holes, and then you what you do is you take these two strands and you crisscross them. 
and you put them through this, this little wire holder and you crisscross them and you take this other tap and you kind of tap it in there. It doesn't look as aggressive as it just showed. Uh, and then you take the other side and you tap it. The main benefit of this is if you can imagine in the past we have to take all these stitches and we tied them together and you had a really big knot that was prominent. But now what we do is we uh, actually don't have that anymore. So it's, it's very, very effective for us to treat this condition. So that's called the Achilles Suture Bridge. It's, it's very, very effective uh, for the, the treatment of this condition. So I hope this helped you out to understand more about uh, Hagman's deformity, and this is how we treat it. To learn more, go to drfelter.com and hit the foot pain toolkit. We'll have a lot more of them for you.